Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, I want to talk about building your Hugo site and then eventually hosting your site. You're at a point now where you've probably built this amazing Hugo site. You have awesome templates, uh, great partials, maybe a bunch of content pages. And now you're thinking, okay, so how do I like build this? One way that you can see your website is by using the Hugo server command, right? So in my case, I can run this Hugo server command and I just have a bunch of like test content over here. And I can head over to my site and you'll see, you know, I have the basic layout of my site. In my case, I'm using a, a, a Hugo theme, so that's why it looks this way. But the question becomes like, how do you actually get all of these files without having to use Hugo server, right? How can I get basically like the website folder that I can upload and host on a website? That's a good question. And the way that we do that is by using a Hugo command. And the command is actually really easy. It's just Hugo. So if I type in Hugo and I click enter, you'll see what happens is uh, Hugo starts building the site and it builds the site. And this folder right here called public is going to appear. And so when you run this Hugo command, it builds your website and it puts all of the built files into this public folder. So what does it mean when I say Hugo is building your website? I mean, basically what it means is Hugo is taking all of your layouts, it's taking all of your pages, all your templates, um, all of your static resources, everything that you have inside this site, and it's combining it together into one single website, right? It's taking all these different pieces and putting them together into the finished website that you can host on a web server. And all of that, the finished product goes inside this public folder. So if we look inside this folder, you'll see that instead of having like a layouts folder and a content folder, instead we just have all of these basic folders, right? This is, you know, sort of your completed site. And so if you wanna put your website onto a web server, all you have to do is run this Hugo command and, and basically just upload this folder onto your web server and then your website will start working. Now, all of this stuff is, sort of at the root directory of your web server. So you would, you know, just copy this and then, or just, you know, drag and drop it into your FTP program or whatever it is that you're using to upload your pages. And you can just put all of that at the root directory of your server and your website will run exactly as it did when you uh, had the Hugo server running, okay? So that's, you know, essentially all you need to know. I mean, Hugo sites are static and so, you know, hosting them is a breeze. I mean, it's as simple as just copying all your files over onto your web server. There's no, you know, server configurations to make. There's no you know, executables to download. There's no, you know, there, there's really nothing you need to do. Like any web server can run a Hugo website basically right off the bat. So like I said, you can use this Hugo command to build your site. What you might want to do is, you know, once you create this public folder, just kind of look through it and try to figure out, you know, how the content is map is getting mapped. So like, how does the content here show up over here, right? That could kind of be interesting to, to look at. Also, one more thing I want to mention is every time you build this your Hugo site using this Hugo command, you want to delete this public folder first. That public folder just gets overwritten. And so if you delete a file on your website and then you rebuild the site, that file is not going to get deleted inside the public folder. And so every time you make a new site, you want to delete that public folder first and then um, rebuild it again, and then you can just re-upload. So yeah, that's the basics of, of building a Hugo site. I mean, that's really all I can kind of say about it. As far as like learning how to host a website, it's kind of outside the scope of this course, but just know that whenever you are ready to upload uh, web pages onto your site, all you have to do is run this Hugo command and you're ready to go. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.